wieder an at the Trentham Hotel. Oh, and here's my room. Ashmarlow phoned some of it. I don't actually have tickets for the Blackpool Magic Convention yet. I just got a phone call when I was driving from Ash. So I'm going to actually return the call. Because uh, he's apparently got cheap tickets. You can knock now. Okay. Right. I wonder who this could be. It's oh, John. <laughs> <laughs> <How are you? laughs> Where's Pikachu? You know? Well, I'm Ash Marley and this is um, a coin trick in a pound coin. And an iPhone. The coin can actually go inside the screen if you can see that in there. And if you want to take it out, you can just do this. Uh, we're going to just head out and we're going to eat lots of food and drink probably lots of pints. And we're going to come back here and then we're going to go sleep. And that's how exciting that sounds the a bit gay. <laughs> <laughs> Together. <laughs> uh, we're heading towards. Uh, I forgot the name of that cafe, I think it's Hard Rock Cafe or something like that. Sells these massive burgers and it'll be... Incredulous. Uh, I'm, I'm actually not that hungry, so I don't think I'll finish it. <laughs> um, I am going to try. I should just be telling me, he's, he's quite into a thing called nugget porn. Which is porn with a... Uh, Girls with no arms and no legs. It's not something I'm into, it's something I've heard about, just to note that fact. Um, I'm not actually sure if I'll actually get a King Kong burger or not. I won't save that till later on in this adventure. I knew it was some sort of rock cafe. Here we go. There's menus in there, you don't need to stand on music. It's a nice menu, you have to decide outside what you want, <laughs> you have to remember it, you have to get upstairs, and you have to tell them what you want. And if you forget, you have to run back downstairs and have another look. So this is the menu. We've brought a camera so we can film the menu and then if you forget, you can just replay the footage. So uh, smart thinking. It's, uh, it's quite an honour to meet the star of the, the Pokemon film. Look at that lot. Um, okay. Out of 150 Pokemon, after studying my uh, Pokedex, uh, last week I named 146. I forgot four. As it's um, a big occasion, the first time meeting John Harrer, I went for a burger in aid of um, first impressions of him. So I'm going to go for the, uh, the big pig burger. It just kind of reminds me of him and all that. That's what I'm going for. King Kong Burger. <laughs> After trying to talk myself out of it, King Kong Burger has to be. And there you have it. Decision made. Right. <laughs> We've got our food. I'm a bit disgusted that we have a salad on it. So <laughs> that's gone. Uh, John's been attacked with a knife. <laughs> Mine is. Standing outside the Winter Gardens, which is where the Blackpool Magic Convention, which we're going to tomorrow, is going to be held. So we just uh, walked past this little alleyway, and there happens to be some people having sex in there, by the looks of it. Well, her skirt was really high, and 
He was very concerned with what passed. Oh my God, is that all right, baby? Oh, I'm in 3D. Yeah, yeah. I'm in 3D. Even better. We're in the Ruskin. My first time in the Ruskin. We're about to meet Jason Latimer. Are we? I am. This is Costas. One of the legendary Magic Tower, or Tino, I don't know how you pronounce it. He's going to pronounce it though. And he is going to share that pizza with us. Go your ID, please. <laughs> yeah. Uh, would you like some ice? Yeah. Um, if I just go through, you uh, shout out the word stop for me. Uh, if we could actually stop on an ace, I'd think that'd be pretty impressive because there's 52 cards in the deck. But what if we could um, not only just stop on the ace of spades, but we could also get all of the aces. I've, uh, I've just met Jason Latimer, one of my all-time heroes, him and Jeff O'Bright, so I've learned a few things. Out. I'll be going to see him on Saturday, so you can catch my reaction after Saturday as well. Are we going clubbing? Yes. We are going clubbing. Let's go. We're going clubbing. As long as that's on Facebook. Here we are with John Harrow, just outside the Ruskin, uh, night one, it's Thursday the <coughs> of September, <laughs> February, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's it John in 3D. Uh, it is indeed, um, we're now heading homewards. And John is absolutely wankered, he's just done eight Jaeger bombs. Then this is the street where we're staying on, this is Albert Road, we're staying at number 21, if that means anything to you. And uh, it's just up here on the left, I've got a nice... Uh, Debenham's view. I specifically asked for that and did pay extra. And tomorrow the convention starts. Um, we'll also be meeting Ben Prime tomorrow. That'll be a prime moment of our journey. It will indeed. Ben <laughs> Prime is a, a legend. Or a legend, one of the two. I wonder who that could be. Oh, oh my god, god, it's Ben Prime. <laughs> How you doing? Not too bad, thanks. Oh, you? I'm not too bad at all. Not too yeah, bad. You can see straight into someone else's room. Yeah, that's uh, a bit shit. <laughs> this Blackpool, what do you expect? We're going to head to the hotel because I'm changing hotels. Then I'm going up to what's the name of it? Hall Georgian Hall Hallies. Yeah, yeah, going to the Hallies. Um, so I'm just going to pack up here and head up to the Hallies. Then we can go to the Winter Gardens and not do much. Fair does. Yeah. <laughs> This is my second room. It's en suite. But, um, single bed this time. We're in the winter gardens. Right. You got any comment further on the situation? Yeah, Jordan's doing his hair today. He looks really nice. So if you get a little image of that. That's the hair. See, he's got. One, two, three, four pieces now. This is the kind of shit I'm going to have to put up with it for the whole convention. <laughs> so it's about 10, 10 to 11 just now, and we're going to head down to the dealers and experience some, see whatever shit they've got to sell. Probably spend a fortune. Just want to take a few seconds just to just <coughs> do a view on this. I don't know if you've heard of this before. This is Iron Brew, and this is probably the single best thing to come out of Scotland and probably the worst thing to come out of Scotland is actually holding the camera right now, so... I would punch you if I wasn't holding this camera. <laughs> Two minutes then we can go in and, yeah. uh, and uh, enjoy some magic dealers. That was a quick two minutes. This is a dealer's of bottom. Okay, that's the Okay, so we've just come across these like playing cards. Uh, yeah, they're all laminated for some reasons. I'd hate to know what they're used for. Oh, apart from this one. <laughs> this one's probably not the nicest. <laughs> Thank you. 
Convention, it's lunchtime. I'm really hungry, so we're gonna go find something to eat somewhere. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I got a drug I like down here, it's pretty funky stuff. What's down there, Ken? KFC, but the wind decided to come back again. <laughs> you must get fed up with the wind round there. You're not really amused, are you? Speechless. He's not amused, he's around. But <laughs> well, would you find that? Yeah. Is there a tower here? It's fucking right above you, you fool. <laughs> Good time. So, what's up, man? Yeah, I am. Just uh, chilling here with the um, illusionist trainer. If you don't know, this is Ben Prime. Uh, fancied by all Japanese men under 16. <laughs> uh, and this is what he's illusionist training. He's going to show you. I can't know right now. That, that's disappointing. Just do it. Just do it in greasy food, I can't do it right now. Yeah, you can. I'm gonna try again. Physically, you can't do it right now. <laughs> well, yeah, you can't do it with like, any sort of grease on your finger, so it just fails epically. Okay. So, so basically, I've seen this stool, and it's really impressive actually. Like, the guy, he had um, a bit of silk, and he like put it in his hand, and then he like pushes it in with his thumb, and when he does this, like, his hands are empty, and it's, it's gone. Uh, so, yeah, he wouldn't tell me how it's done, but. Uh, Apparently, yeah. you can get it off most stools. Yeah. So, uh, we should do it right next to that. We should box have a look at that ones. and we'll see how, if we can haggle him down to a good price. And, yeah, yeah, I'd pay at least 100 quid for that. This guy's honest. running, think he's trying to get the books. Quick, okay. get it. Go on, mate. Go on. Go on. Quick. Quick. Go on, mate. Oh, go on. Is he getting on? Oh, fair play to the bus driver. That's a good bus driver. That's what you're getting back for. Good bus drivers. <laughs> a fact. Yeah, but everything else is bad. Enjoying ourselves. Yeah, we may have a Brian Ovens. Thank you, Card. He's the speed you see. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Just so happens to be on top of the deck. That's not Ace of Speed. That is. <laughs> is that thing? This is Brian Ovens. Did Ovens'. you get that? So, I got it. Sorry, not recorded. You got it. In, it's in 3D. So is this. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one where you, you know, it says, the guy says, pick a card, any card, and I pick a card and he finds it. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> hey. I fucking love my Jack. <laughs> Is that a good wink? Let me, let me give that a go. Right. Oh, no, no. Got a bit of a challenge going here. Oh no! Oh. One day, one day. Do a trick for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. That's brilliant. That's a, that's a hell of a topic you've got there. How are you doing this day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm liking that. We found these playing cards. They were laminated. Oh yeah, they were laminated, but I didn't see the point in them because they didn't really have a back on them and they, were, they weren't like laminated cards, they are kind of in laminated, so they had like a board around and there were six of them, so it's not even a deck and yeah, th uh, five of them had their tits out and then one of them, I think you'll see them, but um, one of them was just a really ugly woman so it was quite weird, it was quite disturbing but, Why do you think they were laminated? Uh, I think they were laminated because obviously they had the tits out, so they, you could juice on them and wipe them clean when you're done, pop them in your wallet, 
That's that. Let's go get fucked up. Like Dream rings, you can take the big King Kong burger. <laughs> well, now we're going to find out if, if you can. If I can, you pay for it. Oh, it's day day two and we're back here and again. if you don't... Yeah? What's the forefront if you don't? Yeah. I don't know, you've got to come about. Um, no, I've got to agree to it. Forfeit. Run, run, Yeah, there you go. You, you've heard <laughs> it. Okay. <laughs> you, you run the bike blue naked anyway. It's true. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you're going to have a King Kong tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> I, I bet it's on. There's, there's John. Look how perfectly round his head is. And like a bar. Bit of hair there. Right, regular phone. Oh look at this, I'm just gonna take it and suppress it to my finger like this. Right, right. Actually balances. And of course you know regular phone. All examinable. So yeah. Let me ask you to take a bite of your hot dog in a minute. It's just gonna look really gay and you just wanna get off to the, you just wanna get off to me putting something long like this in my mouth. I want, I want you to there's no chance you know. there's no yeah. chance you're gonna get a video of me doing this because you're not masturbating over me. John Howard that is. John, how how many pints is that you just sung? Five. Five. How many more are you gonna have tonight? No, a couple. <laughs> so after about eight seconds, he decided to answer uh, uh, a couple. Tom Crosby is going to do a wee trick for us. It's only a little minute. It's, it's quite impressive. So here we go. So anyway. Okay. He uses uh, uses one wallet, one pocket in the wallet. I don't have 52 wallets or anything like that. But inside that pocket, right there, is a little prediction. The prediction is a number between one and five. Could be one, two, three, four, or five. Uh, now, John, behind the camera, what number would you think it might be? I'm going to go with two. 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 Spot on. Absolutely impressive. Uh, I'm not releasing it at the moment, but I will keep you posted in the future. Toby Davis is going to do a wee trick for the camera. Right. I'll lose, I'll show you trees in a deck of cards, but more importantly, uh, the two aces will uh, place them to one side for now. What I'll get you to do is uh, just call it stop. Stop. Right, uh, we'll take that card. What I'll get you to do is just get around it, have you got it? Sure. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Uh, we'll leave it sticking out about halfway down to the pack, like that. Yeah. So we take the two aces. Now the two aces have been down on the table the whole time, but watch, you can't jump from there to between the two aces like that. You have to have the nine of clubs. What we'll do is we'll take the nine of clubs and we'll uh, use the aces as sort of pincers. So we'll pick it up so you can see it between it the whole time. So we'll place the ace of diamonds there, the nine of clubs there, and the ace of hearts there. Once again, you can see it'll never leave your sight. It'll always be in full view the whole time. So we'll place it about halfway down into the deck. Two aces go on top. Push that in just a little bit further. Once again, all we have to do is just push it into the deck and go straight between the two aces of your card and that. Uh, in my wallet, there is a prediction. There's a prediction in that pocket there. It's a number between one and five. You have no idea of knowing which one it is. So it could be one and it could be five. I should tell you. Yep. Okay? Yeah, you have one in mind already? Uh, I do now. What, what number is it? Two. Two. Sorry, two. Yeah. Uh, open up the pocket. Let's have a look. Uh, I'm, I'm keeping the method kind of underground for now, but I'll send you the PDF. Right, the magician is going to do some magic here. Right. <laughs> yep. That's the, that's the first one. A lot of ring on rope stuff you do. A lot of ring and, and string or whatever they call it. People call it different things, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think hold on to that, here. Give us your, your other hand. You've got that, so you've got that. Close your hand really tight. Because I've been known to steal that ring back. You, you've still got the ring, right? You know, if you pull that, you'll notice that it's, it's on there. Right? Just turn that hand over. Yeah, drop the ring. Do you want to touch that hand? It's just a ring, that's all it is. People don't think that I physically thread the ring on. You can see that it's definitely on, right? Definitely. Um, I do this quite a lot. So for me, 
when you fall on that, it might have been difficult for you, because I do this quite a lot, I say. There's no, no real effort whatsoever. So if, you, if you hang on to that, if you lift, lift it up, you'll notice that you can't put the ring back on the same way you, you take it off. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a strange one. The other thing is, uh, I say, because it's my ring, I need to go home with it. There's no point in me going home without it. I don't know about you, but if you go home without your wedding ring, you're not getting in, basically. So for me, I need to know where, where the ring is at any given time. If it's not here, uh, I, need, I need to keep it where I can find it. Uh, so think back to when you were a little boy. What was the, um, the first knot you ever tied? Can you remember? Uh, you're going to say like a shoelace or like a reef knot or something like that. Would you like to recreate that knot there for me? You can put a bow in it if you want and dress it up. It's completely up to you. And, and depending on the help, set the person to do it quite tight sometimes. That's, that's pretty good. Isn't it? Hold your hand out. What's your name? Les. If I could drop the ring into your hand now, you'd be mildly impressed, wouldn't you? If the ring wasn't there, you wouldn't really care about that. It wouldn't. Um, so, the, the first place you're going to look, because it's a magician, it's a classic thing, um, it's a sleeve. The first thing is the sleeve, and it's not on the sleeve. Right? The second thing is, you're going to go into the pockets, because that's the other obvious thing. The last place you look, Les, the very last place you look, would be there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that is the very last place you look. Three queens. One, two, three queens. Okay. Two, three, three. If we pull that queen to the bottom, we now have uh, one, two, three. Two face down cards. Do it again. One, two, three, four. Now we've got three face down cards. If we turn that queen over, we now have. One, two, three, four queens turned over. The mystery is the nine of hearts, but the real mystery is uh, they're all the nine of hearts. So I call that the mystery trick. And I am the mystery one. <laughs> this is the money. It is. Is it the money? I want it. I want it. I, I can be anything you want, baby. This is magic in three dimensions. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's going to stop. That probably look awesome. Go here. What's your name? Schizo. Nice to meet you, Schizo. I'm putting you on the spot, but you're going to have to do a trick. A can. spot like dog gaming. Yeah, go for that. Wow, this is my ball. You can call. Excuse me. You can call me when you want. Remember. The... Excuse me, uh, inside the egg, you will be the bomb disappear anywhere you are. And remember, uh, I know this is my wallet, I will take something to drink. See you. Nine and oh, I'm rough. I've got a hell of a rough heart to go and have a shower and, and get changed and then go and have a breakfast. <coughs> yeah, I feel, I feel like shit just now. I had way too much to drink last night. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go and get a breakfast. I've, I've, I've probably missed breakfast, I mean, it's, breakfast was probably no served anymore. Um, oh, I'm like a zombie just now. It's uh, about time to get up, get changed, get a shower and get ready and go. Bye for now. Oh, so I um, just bumped into Joe Pasquale, it was quite fun, had my photo with him again. And did he talk in a squeaky voice? He did talk in a squeaky voice, but that's all right. It's a nice voice. I wonder if that's and actually his real voice. It's coming up to half twelve, so there's actually an Andy Nyman lecture that I think would be worth going to check out. So what have you been up to this morning? Um, I actually got up late this morning. Uh, came in here, I brought two decks of playing cards, just for banter really. Um, quite extortionate really. One was £4 and one was £6.50. Um, inflation even if it affects his magicians, believe it or not. 
So, yeah, so here we are now. Yeah, just here. Are you hungover? Um, not hungover, just a bit tired, but I'm waking up a bit now. I had my nice fry up, full English. Yeah, pretty much. If we're sitting on the day, maybe for an hour, we're sitting in the lovely air. So Ben's just uh, just nipped by, he's had to rush off to the Ruskin, but he's shown us uh, something that he brought today. And I don't know if we got this on tape or not, but it was something he's really taken the piss out of yesterday. It was a gimmick to switch a deck. But now Ben's gone and brought the gimmick that he was slagging off yesterday, and now he's brought it for 40 quid. So, yeah, that's that. Just find it amusing. Fucking hypocrite. Yeah, what an absolute hypocrite. Yeah, John. He's uh, back on the beer after last night. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm taking it easy tonight. I was fucking glued to it last night. I'm really not looking forward to seeing the video footage of... If there is video footage, there probably is a video footage of me being drunk. Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. I do remember walking in and seeing um, some man, random guy, I don't think John even knew him, holding his camera filming John. <laughs> <laughs> so what's just happened, John? Just spilt my drink all over the table, nearly destroyed my camera. Probably have uh, my phone's extra all right. Spill it over the cards. Yeah. But thankfully I use plastic cards. And so most of that are a bit sticky, I'm gonna get to the wash, but they will survive. It's a uh, half five, so we maybe go and grab some quick tea and then uh, dunno. Show starts at seven. Here we go. Pause. I don't know if I've done this right. <laughs> this is. Uh, I think that's me taking a picture. Cool. Brilliant. You did it. Uh, right, just having a wee beer at the minute. Um, uh, Ash has been talking with uh, Jason Latimer. Just move the camera back down here. Um, and uh, he's going to be doing uh, a routine with uh, a partner, George Sampson's coming on uh, midway through as a kind of surprise. So it should be fun. Bye for now. Well, I didn't get any uh, footage of uh, George Sampson thing, Jason, George Sampson, Jason Latimer thing. Uh, I essentially went up to, the, to, the, to, to go into the thing and I just literally only seen them, you know, the last 10 seconds of the whole act. Uh, so I missed it all. Never mind. Gonna have a beer here and then head back to the Ruskin, I think, and then don't know what was happening for there. Okay. <laughs>
What was the name of that pub, Bob? What? what was the name of the pub? Churchill's. We've just left Churchill's and we're heading towards, what's the name of the pub? Where are we going to? Mark Ellie's. Mark Ellie's. <laughs> I think it's uh, one pub, uh, pint in this next pub and then off to the Ruskin probably. And we'll... <laughs> What's the name of the pub, Buffs? Mark Ellie's, and that's what we drank. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I'm intoxicated as usual. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not. I'm not as bad. I'm actually as... holding them off his things. <laughs> it's a fucking step there. That wasn't a that stumble. Was a step. That step was a little bit. So we're heading towards the Ruskin, and uh, we're just going to, you know, spend the rest of it in the Ruskin. And I thought it's been good I'm fun today. Colours. Ah, uh, here you fucking call us. Oh, diet cola. <laughs> I've had two drinks all weekend. And both of them are diet cola. Ah, uh, fucking so they were. TV? Two shakes. TV, TV special? No, no, I'm, I'm just drunk. I'm just filming some random shit. Nice to meet you. What's your name? James. Are you going to do a trick? Ah, uh, yeah. James is 5 to 2. Do you, you don't really want a trick, do you? I'm just leaving the Ruskin uh, at the end of day two. Oh, oh. Uh, the, the end of the convention day two. I'm heading back towards my hotel. The reason I'm, I know it's about two in the morning. As I said, I've had a fair few pints tonight, but I feel a hell of a lot better. Um, I could have stayed out, but the reason I'm heading home. You know, everybody else is out, but I'm heading home a bit earlier than I thought would. Is the reason I'm, I'm doing that is because uh, otherwise I'm, I'm not going to get up tomorrow. Uh, I, was, I was hellish this morning, and I don't want that to happen again. So I'm off skating. That's me in the hotel, and uh, oh, bye for now. Morning, guys. It's uh, nine o'clock in the morning. I'm just going to go down and grab some breakfast, and then um, going to go hit the winter gardens for the final day of the convention. Bye for now. So, Mr. Optimus Ben Prime, what did you get up to last night? Uh, not that much. I just went to the Ruskin, met up with uh, Daniel Madison, people like that, uh, Lloyd Barnes, Gary Clark, and just session for like all night. I think I got in about five or so. Having some crunching of conflicts just now. Oh yes. Tr the trouble is, it is too good. Hey, uh, just thanks for bumping into you. Mm -hmm. So it's um, Sunday and. <laughs> We're about to go to a Greg Wilson lecture, which wasn't in the programme, but should be quite good because that guy always makes me laugh. He's a funny guy. 
Um, he hasn't brought anything with him because it's all in Germany, so I don't really know what's going on with that. But uh, yeah, this is the lovely scene where the Al City moment happened. <laughs> uh, at night time, these flashing lights come on, and they look spectacular. Just come out of the Gregory Wilson lecture. It's actually, it's actually pretty good. Uh, as expected, um, always delivers. Funny guy, great, great guy, Greg Wilson. Uh, we're going to head to the dealer's hall just now, I think. I think that's the plan. Dealers Hall Ash? We're going to go to the dealers hall, yes, and have some fun. So that's what we do. We like to have fun. In case you were wondering, to my left there's this man sitting there. I don't know if you've noticed him before. He's, he's, he's actually, he's he's actually always, day yeah. three and he's in the same seat and he's just there. Maybe we can get him so it looks like he's sitting on my shoulder. Can you do that? Yeah. 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 Is he there? Yeah. Okay, Ben. We're yeah, looking at handcuffs. So that means you can do the diagnosis. Ben's thinking about uh, finding some handcuffs. Handcuffs. Uh, so that's yeah. a lot of looking. Yeah. 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 You place it on top. It's uh, just for. Yeah, did it really slowly. Yeah, just for magic use, of course. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> So here we are, uh, I'm going to show you a quick trick with a deck of cards, you can see that they're all different. Uh, Owen here is going to choose a card, any card you like Owen. That one please. Take it out, have a look at it, show it around, excellent, excellent, and return it to the pack. That's better. Now uh, I'm going to give the cards a little mix up just to complicate things a little bit. And uh, we're also going to, well, normally it would be my job though to try and find it. Okay. But I've decided that you're probably better equipped because you already know what the card is. I'm just better equipped in general. Yeah. Alright, so I've heard. Um, so you know which one of these cards you've chosen. So uh, it's going to be your responsibility to find it. Okay. All you have to do is give me a number between 1 and 50. Nine. Nine. Uh, what I'm going to do is deal down nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, if you'd given me uh, a different number, you'd have got a different card. Yeah, I would hope so. For example, if you'd uh, given me a higher number, you could have ended up with any of these, or you could have ended up uh, with the over here with a lover. Right. You wanted nine? What was the card you were thinking of? Four of clubs, Liam. Well done. It's time. Are we good to go? We are good to go, my friend. Okay, we're going to do a little trick. One, two, three, four, eight. Just don't run away because you're going to hold on to the first ring. What's your name, sir? Ash. Ash, do us a favour, hold on to that with both hands. Uh, it's right here it's going to go through. It happens on one, two, just on three silently, it goes straight the way through. Now if I take that back from you, from the front you would swear that these rings are joined, but if I hold them side on you can tell that they're not really. But the illusion really is very strong indeed. Now Ash, we're going to switch places now. You're still going to stand there, but hold on to the ring. Rather than me tap down going one, two, three, that's what you're going to do. So you're going to get the ring and go one, two, three. Give it a go. Here, it just joins. So we have two this side, two this side. One, two, and just by three, it goes straight the way through. Just watch, right here is where it's going to go. Watch it close. One by one, the rings come off. There goes the first ring. That's two. There's three. There's four. And I thought maybe you could join other things. For example, over the sides here, I've got the ring that I wear. How about we try and join that onto the larger ring? Straight the way through. I can show you where it comes off. It's definitely joined, but now it melts off. It comes back on like that. There's nothing on my finger. This time I'm going to take the ring off, and I'm going to place this ring onto my finger. I've been told that the quickness of the hand deceives the eye. Just watch it happen. Mark, set, go. Can I get you to hold your hand out nice and flat for us, Ash? That's good. Now I can pass this ring from one large ring onto the other. One, two, on three, it jumps right the way down. Nothing in the hand, it comes off. Just check it out, just make sure it's okay, make sure there's no like gaps, no breaks, what you see is what you get. That's legit. That's legit. Okay, let's take it back, let's do a little bit more. The rest is in over the side here, so I'm just going to get another ring. Straight the way through. Keep watching it, it's now in the middle. That ring was on the top, it's moved through to the middle, and that moves from one ring straight the way down through to the other ring. It comes off, from here, a little flick like that, it jumps off, and that's the end. Joshua G in 3D. Hey, I'm in 3D! <laughs> <laughs>
Hi there, my name's Joshua J. That's your card. <laughs> you should have looked in the book. That's awesome. Think well, you meant the volume button. <laughs> uh, Ross, hold my balloon. Hold my balloon in your hands. Hold it. And think about what you really want in life. Think magic. <laughs> Oh, the ancient Chinese believe if you if you sign a card, you put a little bit of your soul into it. <laughs> we return to the West Coast Rock Cafe. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tackle uh, a King Kong burger again. Again? You're going to eat it all? Yes. Every single bit of it? And what will you do as a forfeit if you don't? Bread included, you got to eat all of it. The plate's got to be like... The plate's got to look like this. So if you eat it, what are you going to do if you don't eat it? I'm not going to do anything. No, that's not interesting. I do a card trick for you. I do a card trick. No, you're a shit. Thank you very much. That looks nice, doesn't it? That's mine, thanks. If you don't eat that, I'm not going to talk to you for the rest of the convention. Yes. Well done. It's good effort. How do you feel about that? How do you feel? Yeah. Champion. Champion. Just back at the flat, been joined by Benjamin Prime. Evening. And um, I'm just basically chilling for a wee bit. Ben's picking up his bag and then going homeward. That's the end of the convention for him, unfortunately. I'll be standing a few hours in the risk end, but that's about it. Yeah, try to think what else. We're just comparing. Oh, it helps if I actually point the thing at me. Uh, penis sizes. We're, we're just comparing our penis sizes. Mine's is much bigger, of course. Yes. Um, uh, that's about it for now. That's the uh, plan. Just gonna go and get some food, I think, and then off to the risk game for the evening. Oh. Yeah. oh. Ben screen the last few pennies. Oh. Yeah, I've spent so much this weekend. It's ridiculous. Great. I'm eating fish and chips. Yeah. It's nice. And John's waving a camera in my face every five minutes. What a cunt. Fucking hate you, John. <laughs> <laughs> Just your jig in. We're about to go in the show. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't know what to say. I need. I need a script. Someone give me a script. Uh, tell us something. Yeah, stop right there. Remember this cup. It's got it right here. Got it. Remember it. I'll leave it sticking out. The end of the deck. In fact, I'll just bury it right there. That's your card, okay? Don't forget it. Now I need a card, so I'll take the key of clubs. Doesn't really matter about that one, but I'll pop it straight there. What's your card? Remember what it is? So I'll push it in, like this, and it'll jump to the top of the deck. Leave it. Watch. Oh, wait. That's the key of clubs. That was my card. It should have been underneath the box. Underneath the box is your card. Nice. Well done. Take any card you want. Hey, uh. Should we come in? Alright. Think about spiders. Alright, literally. How they climb walls. Push hard. Second, you like that? You get a lift. Watch. Because of what I'm doing, I'm not going to be i not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going yeah, literally, that's Cool, so, we're, um, we've just left the Winter Gardens, it's the end of the convention for us, I suppose. Uh, we're just heading to a pub. We're fucking gutted. But uh, a guy showed us a pretty cool deck switch with a... I used that. I'll have to invent that one. Was it a deck switch? I thought you said a deck switch. <laughs> Uh, there was a deck switch with a plain card, a, a card clip, um, which I thought was pretty damn funky. And so, anyway, what's, what's this pub we're hitting? Oh, then again. Oh, well, fair enough. Bye for now. The pub with no name. <laughs>
Okay, so baby, we've got you sucking off the ball. It's not sucking off, it's, giving a it's my facial expressions. I, I, I just go to sleep sometimes and my, my face just takes over. So, uh, like that. With the ball in my ears, everything. <laughs> so you've been up to anyway? Oh. I've just, uh, I'm not going to get those last four and a half hours back of sitting in the gala show. There's a couple of good things to show us that. Almost fell asleep though. I'm quite tired. I've got in at half six this morning. Up at eleven. Are you going to do a wee hey, trick for us? A wee trick. Um, watch. Penny. Uh, keep your eye on that penny. It's gone. It really has gone. Go. You're on video. That is so much better, it really is. I love it. What's the technique, Bob? Open your mouth, swallow, you put it in, and you swallow. <laughs> it's an old magic trick. It's not a one. Is there a is the Ruskin just now and just in a blather with Joshua G and then Jason Latimer? I showed Joshua G the footage of the guy doing an impression of him. I think he loved it. He probably secretly hated it, but he seemed to like it. That's about it. I should be enjoying my fight. Good morning, Ash. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are we parked up in the central car park, and I think we're just going to go for a wander and you know see what's happening for there. It's pretty much the end of our of our video. Hope you've all enjoyed it. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go for a walk, and then we'll just chill for a few hours, and then that's it. Back home. I've just got out of bed, so here we are. We've ended up at McDonald's. Ash has fallen asleep. And we're going to, you know, head and uh, get the train. I suppose well, he's going to get the train. I'm going to drive home. And this brings us to the end of our adventure. And I don't know, it's about it. end of the adventure. You got anything to say, Ash, before we disappear? Hope you enjoyed everything. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Simulator. Kind of a bit too early for that, I'm guessing. It's about to go and apparently this is the most terrifying roller coaster slash ride in Blackpool.
Look at this place, must have cost a fortune to put together. Vlustry. Vlustry, where have you been? This picture. Missed, we got a connection. Just come out of the Jason Latimer lecture and uh, all he's basically done is rant on about his you know his company which is great but you know i've paid for a ticket to come and you know see a lecture you know on magic so the show starts at seven we, we're going to the show tonight yeah i heard um, jason latimer is not doing any stage match to get the show he's actually going to do a presentation <laughs> uh, yeah and it's a question and answer as well if anyone wants to participate so yeah looking forward to that <laughs> I want to ask you one question, one question only. Would you trust this cash machine? Would you trust this cash machine to look after your hard-earned money? Yeah. That's what I thought.